What is up, everybody? Today, we are kicking off the Friday five minute fix. Let's go. All right, everybody, we're gonna jump right into it so we don't waste any time. I wanna give you a quick Friday fix so you could take this to the course and have a great round this weekend or today, whenever you're out there. And don't you hate it when you step up to a par five and you bomb a drive and you've got a fairway wood in your hand, you're just like, I'm gonna put it on the green, I'm gonna do it, and you do one of these guys. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. And you roll, I mean, it's a good layup. But you, you know, you basically top the thing. We're gonna fix that today so you don't top this. And I'm gonna give you the keys of life to make sure this, this gets in the air. Oh, by the way, I hope you're liking the videos. If you do, even if you don't, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that come out. First key to hitting a solid fairway wood is this. First things first, one of the reasons you top it is because you whip that club too far inside and you get in here and then you're like, ah, like that. And you, you come in way too far from the inside and there's nowhere to go but up. So you hit up on the ball, hit that giant top. It's because you whip that club way in here. And we gotta not do that. Whipping that club inside is going to be the death of you. So instead of that, here's what you do. As you take it back, I want you, and it's, it's so much easier to whip the longer clubs inside. Okay. You know that. Here we go. What you do is you want to take it back so you see the club head in your peripheral vision. Okay? If I whip it inside, I, I can't see the club head anymore. It's gone. I want to make sure I'm always seeing that in my peripheral vision. Peripheral? Right there. At least till my arms are about parallel. Now, I'm not taking it out here and I'm not lifting my hands. I'm just taking it back nice and low and I'm seeing that club in my peripheral vision. That's key numero uno. And that's key one to getting that ball nice and high in the air. That's what we want. Uh, that's step one. Keep it there. Let's move on. Okay, second piece of this. Now, I want to keep it simple. Don't want to confuse, don't want you to think about too much, especially if you're going right to the course uh, right now, uh, because that would be bad. Okay, so you just got a little takeaway thought, which is going to help you with every shot in your bag. So that's great. So there you go. Now, from the top, if you pull down, you're gonna come up like this. That's part of the, part of the problem. You're pulling down because you wanna hit it so hard and then your, your, your hips just scoot forward. So that's the reason, that's another reason you top it, they're all tied together. So what you wanna do, you're back here. What I want you to think is you're trying to move your body back backwards, not fall back, but I really want it. It's almost like you're taking a, a step back, right? That's even your swing thought is kind of step back like that, but we don't wanna step back. So, the thought process behind that is pull this left hip back as if you want to take a step backwards, okay? So you're pulling that hip back, okay? That's going to keep you in down spine angle into the shot. So I'm thinking, I'm almost thinking step, but I'm doing it with my hip, my left hip pulling it back or stepping back with the hip is what I like to say. Like that, okay? Another good one, nice little push draw. I love that. Now, that's the two things, so you're stepping back. There's one more piece that we need in order to bring it all together so that then, I mean, those are pretty good, but I really want you to have success. There's one more thing that's gonna help. Here we go. No delays here. Now, notice on that last swing, as I pull that hip back, I kinda fell backwards a little bit. And that's gonna happen if that's all you're thinking. So the last piece of it is this. Takeaway is fine, you got that, right? You're pulling that left hip back. Now I'm taking my right shoulder and I wanna follow through with my right shoulder here. Not like this, right? This would be bad. I want that right shoulder to come down and through and I wanna point it at my target. 
So I want to point my right shoulder down through here. Okay. So that when you're on the course, you can just fire that right shoulder down. You're pulling that left hip back and right shoulder follow through with a few swings at the range. You'll get it before you go. This is good for every shot, but specifically if you're going to have a swing thought when I'm hitting a fairway wood, the takeaway isn't even a swing thought. That's just right there. Now from here, I'm just going left hip, follow through right shoulder right in there. Okay. Those are my, that's my swing thought. There you go. You feel that? You see that? Like right shoulder down, following through like that. Nice, good draw. So the pieces are this club head in your peripheral vision on your takeaway. Okay. Okay. At, from the top, left hip goes back as left hip goes back. And, and then as you come through the ball, you're following through with your right shoulder all the way down and through. That's it. And it's, you should, you should stop topping the ball forever. You should. Okay. Just get that. See it, feel it and go. And with that, you're going to start hitting much more pure, crisp shots. You're going to keep the ball in the air. You're going to love life. That's your Friday fix. Hope you guys like it. Play well out there. Let me know if it worked. Well, I know it works. Let me know how you do when you're out there on the course and you got a great opportunity to hit something solid. Love you guys. Work hard. I'm rooting for you. Come on, let's do this. See you in the next video.